Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, confessed fraudster Jean Ann Panton was denied bail when she appeared in the Supreme Court this morning after a medical certificate failed to establish that she is unable to walk and stand. She was further remanded until April 19, while a plea and case management hearing date has been set for June 15. Raquel Porter has the details. When Jean Ann Panton first appeared in court last week, her attorney Tamika Harris attempted to make a case for bail to be granted to the confessed fraudster on the basis that she has delicate medical issues and that the police will not be able to adequately meet her medical needs and care should she remain in custody. But after reviewing two medical reports and an affidavit, Justice Lorna Shelley Williams on Friday concluded that she did not see anything that will prevent Panton from being in custody. The medical documents presented in the Supreme Court did not support claims that she's unable to walk and stand. In providing details, the judge said the affidavit filed by Panton's sister contain exhibits of newspaper clippings and a photograph outlining the history of her illness. The medical report stated that Panton has hypertension, diabetes, and that she suffers from chronic hip, knee, and lumbar pain. She underwent surgery and was treated for infectious disease post-operation. The other document, according to the judge, was hearsay. The doctor who filed the medical certificate was unable to speak to Panton's illness firsthand. However, he spoke about what Panton told him was her history of the disease. The certificate stated that part of the problem was as a result of post-operation complication and that there were some difficulties and setbacks during the recovery period which requires her to use a walker and a wheelchair. In rejecting the bail application, Justice Lorna Shelley Williams highlighted the seriousness of the offenses. Still, attorney representing Panton's family, Sylvester Hemmings, made a last-minute attempt to change the judge's mind, but that fell short. Mr. Hemmings complained that the facility where Panton is being housed is in a terrible state. He further argued that the offenses being outlined as serious are charges that are laid daily and stressed that they are not murder. He also contended the seriousness of the offense was based on what is being circulated in the press and that cases are tried based on the evidence in court. In addressing his complaint about where Panton is being kept, the judge informed him that she does not dictate where accused are kept. Instead, she advised him to speak with the police officer in charge of the court to make arrangements for Panton to be kept elsewhere. Panton is accused of defrauding 39 SSL clients of millions of U.S. dollars, including retired Jamaican sprint legend Usain Bolt and his former manager Norman Peart. She was charged in relation to three clients so far and that the figure amounted to a total of 6.3 million U.S. dollars. Raquel Porto, TVJ News. In the meantime...